Hi friends. So I got another magazine, but this one is not sprayed with water. Just warning you, so you're not disappointed. Um, this is Bon Appetit, the Thanksgiving issue. Your cooking problems solved. I'm just using this again as my pointer. Still rehabbing my nails. Yeah, grown a little bit, but anyway. So I just got this a few days ago, and I thought, let's see what they're cooking up in this magazine. <laughs> Um, be sure to spray a few other magazines in the future because I find it very crinkly and delightful when I do that. So we'll be doing that again. But this one I wanted to look through without the extra crinkles first. So anyway, this is a little advertisement for some wine, I think. November. Looks like some green beans with some hazelnuts. Well, Thanksgiving is wonderful, delicious, stressful. Until now, your only job on Thanksgiving was eating all the sides. It's going to be great. Stuffing muffins. That's a good idea. What's this? vegetarian mane that might overshadow the turkey. Hmm. Well, what is it? Does it even say? It's not saying. I guess we'll find out. Here's some more wine advertising. Cook with us on YouTube. Oh, huh. we're on YouTube. Okay, so you can put your phone up to this, I guess. And you'll be directed to their channel. If you're interested, there you go. Okay. Um, um, Goya cookies and chocolate Maria. Maria cookies and chocolate Maria cookies. Easy Maria cookies crust in a package of Maria cookies. Goya. Half a cup of Goya unsalted melted butter. And there's your crust. Hmm. I've had these before. These ones. Just the plain ones. But why didn't I remember it was named Maria? That's so weird. I should have remembered that. Huh. So what is this? It's all gravy. Ugh. No. Yeah, shank. Not a gravy gal. Some more wine. Lots of wine pairings. And I'm not a fan of wine. So if I'm going to eat and drink any kind of it, it would be sweet, bubbly like Moscato or something. Well, here we go. Family meal. Sheep ham dinners are weeknight saving grace. Explore the law. Low fuss art form with four recipes that won't cause a pile up on the sink. I like doing that. I love roasted green beans. They're so yummy. There's a little cheese board. Everybody's doing board, board, boards. I'm bored with the boards. To be honest, sesame, chicken, and cabbage salad. Oh, here, let me put some of this on your face for you. Here you go. Some more. Over here. <laughs> oh, you want some on your nose? All right. So let's get that in there real good. Do, 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 do. Let's put some on your forehead now. <laughs> And then we'll get some on your cheek over here, this cheek. And let's get some on this cheek. 
and mushrooms. Mmm, that sounds intriguing. That looks very tasty. Okay, what is involved? Does it say? Oh yeah, two carrots, six scallions, one onion, package of gnocchi, what mixed mushrooms, olive oil, salt, garlic, Soy, mirin, rice vinegar, sugar, sesame oil. That sounds delightful. My, I have all of that except for mirin right now. Well, I don't have, well, I don't have mushrooms. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's say spiced salmon with potatoes and corn. I wish I, I liked salmon, but I just do not. Excuse me, I hiccuped. <laughs> Meatballs with burst tomatoes. Oh my, not, not for me. We tossed the alcohol and the nasties, but we kept the magic. Okay. Let's see. What does this say? Oh, no. What does this say? Packed with potent plants, heady herbals, and blissful botanicals. Yeah, was created to kickstart the appetite and the conversation with numbing the night or the next morning. Use gap gap gapatite on treatgea.com slash bon appetit. How's appetite? Aperitif. Okay. Interesting whiskey business. I don't mind a whiskey drink. I prefer it over most spirits. Whiskey, tequila, rum. I like those. first rodeo but I don't drink so it's like I mean I've drank in the past but I, I've never really liked it it's never agreed with me it's never really I've never really fared well with it but I've tried a bunch of it so I know what I don't like and I know what I can tolerate mixed with things <laughs> and it's very rare like I Let's see, I probably had like, um, I think I, I, it's like, it's rare. It's not a regular thing. I am not an alcohol drinker. Waffle Saturdays, yummy. I'm a waffle, waffles, yeah, I love waffles. These look yummy. Yeah. Oh, these are mochi waffles with maple brown butter bananas. Oh, skip the bananas. Thank you very much. I wish I liked bananas, but I don't. There's lots of things I wished I liked. Here's an interesting kitchen. Look at this. It's got a sink right in the middle of this open table. So you see the plumbing. It's interesting. Interesting island. That's pretty. Very clean. This is cozy. It's your heart that takes you places. Very true. Looks like they're nibbling. Ocean cruises. Oceana cruises. Your world. Your world away, Oceana Cruises. A lot of Chubbo's advertisements in there. Advertisements. Is it a 
deliver, okay, to sample the dog food. <laughs> <clears throat> Can I bring my dog inside a restaurant? Or is that a no-no? Um, I say that's a no-no. Meal prep for animals. Oh, my mom serves the cats on our heirloom dinnerware. Can I feed my dogs from the pantry if I fail as a parent and run out of dog food? What would you do? Eggs, grains, rice, water packed chicken, yogurt, no onions, pickles, pancakes. Pancakes without salt and sugar and no syrup. Plain oatmeal with a dollop of peanut butter. Oh. Ooh, look at this. Tahini in a squeeze bottle. I'm not going to get that. I like tahini. Do you like tahini? I like tahini. Here's some little snacky snacks to look at. New things for the holidays. Ooh, I love pistachios. Do you like pistachios? I love, love pistachios. I think they're probably my favorite nut. Right up there with the almond peanut. Walnut, pecan. Hey, why are they so green? The hue comes from the chlorophyll retained by the nuts as they grow inside their holes. Shielding from sunlight, those harvested early or from trees in cooler climates are particularly vibrant. Mm -hmm. So there is California. Herman pistachios, which are the top seller because of their mild flavor and giant size. There's the Antep Turkish pistachios, are smaller and harder to open, but the effort is worth it for their deep, toasty flavor. And the Sicilian Bronte pistachios grow in a volcanic soil, which is said to give them a unique flavor. They're so expensive and rare that the orchards get police protection to deter thieves. Oh my. <clears throat> Excuse me. In the pantry, the pistachio cream is a luxury sweetened spread to top a slice of toast or layer beneath strawberries and a galette. Mmm. Pistachio oil, pistachio syrup. Oh, I liked that. I tried that pistachio frappuccino at Starbucks and it was delicious. Recreate Starbucks pistachio latte or stir some into seltzer for a take on cream soda. Oh, 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 weird. Pistachio sesame cheese ball. Oh, yeah, I could do that. Cheese, nuts, yummy. Well, oh, Thanksgiving's wonderful, delicious, and stressful. If you make it that way, if you make it all stressy, you don't need to and so make Thanksgiving a new Thanksgiving. Like make it literally a thankfulness time. Let's not celebrate what America has traditionally set Thanksgiving as and which is, you know, taking land from Indians, slaughtering them, you know, all that kind of terrible stuff. Um I don't like it for that reason so if you celebrate it make it for the intention of thankfulness for what you have in your lives and those around you in your lives celebrate that don't celebrate the traditional sense of thanksgiving and what came with that because it's wrong <laughs> sorry i had to I had to toot my my horn of uh, opinion. Yep. Make it easy. Make yummy food. Get together. Or don't. Just make yummy food for yourself. 
and be grateful and thankful. That's all you got to do. Don't let it stress and make everything all perfect because that's not life. It's not real life. Marinated mozzarella and pepado peppers. I don't like to say that word. <clears throat> pepado. How about you? You like to say the pepado peppers? Peppers. Say that. Pepado peppers. Pepado peppers. Pepado peppers. Peppers. <laughs> okay, so we've got rosemary sizzled salami dates and pecans. We've got old bay chips with lemon mayo. We've got uh, Zatar firecrackers. We've got marinated mozzarella and the pepper de peppers. And what's this? How do I level up my boring old mashed pot potato game? Oh, those look like some fried onions on top of there. Oh, that's crispy potato skins. Mmm, crispy. Of creamy mashed potatoes with crispy potato skins. Don't toss those skins. Instead, slice them and crisp them in the hot oil to turn them into a crunchy topper for a rich and garlicky mash. There's how their recipe for mash is right here. Five pounds. Jeez, 12 cloves. You're making a lot of taters. <clears throat> I'm vegetarian. I am mostly vegetarian. I, it's very rare that I eat uh, a little chicken or fish. And that's pretty much all I am occasionally eating. Yeah, that is. That's, that's it. So this is right up my alley. These look good. Some sort of dip. Main course, the green beans. Mm -hmm. It says cookbook author Hetty Louie McKinnon built this plant based menu from the ground up. We're talking bright charred green beans, salty sweet potato, tempura, and a big cheesy mane that will have you asking. Turkey head. Hey, let's see what this says. Radicchio and apple salad with mustardy croutons. Mmm. -hmm. Mustard goes really good with radicchio. Mmm. -hmm. An apple that gives it that sweetness to counteract the bitterness. Yum. That is a good that is a good dish. And I haven't even tried it, but I can taste it in my mind. Okay, and there's the green beans. Let's see. Is the um, charred green beans with brown butter vinaigrette. And there is sweet potato and onion tempura. Oh, so that's tempura fried sweet potatoes and onion rings. Yummy. Let's see. Roasted Brussels sprouts with maple soy. Caramel. Mm -hmm. Yum, I can taste it. Oh, there's lime in there. And onion and sesame. And then we've got a pumpkin cheddar strata. Oh. Ooh, let's see what's inside these recipes. I'm interested. Sweet potato and onion tempura with chive mayo. Okay, so where is the, where is the, oh, here it is, the pumpkin and cheddar strata. Let's see. Cup of butter, olive oil, shallots, salt, kale, egg, thyme, rosemary, pumpkin puree, milk, heavy cream, mustard, Make pepper and ciabatta and cheddar. Hmm. Sounds pretty good, actually. Yeah, those, okay. A 
oven overload. What could I cook on Wednesday to save time and space on Thursday? There you go. You make ahead sausage and caramelized onion stuffing. Ta-da! There's your answer. I'll just say it. I hate roast turkey. Can't we have something else? We did. We had many years in a row where we just had uh, rotisserie chickens. Um, and sometimes we would just do like the breasts of whatever. And we were fine with that. A couple of years, I picked up literally two rotisserie chickens from the grocery store. And we made the sides. And it was very easy, very simple. And we didn't have to worry about. They were hot and our stuff was ready. And we got them, took them home, and had a meal. And it was very easy. Just make your mashed potatoes, your stuffing, your vegetables or whatever. And you have a very simple meal. Nowadays, they make it very easy for that. So I don't know why people stress. It's because they get... What they do is... Um, People a lot of times uh, will get these elaborate recipes and they've never made them before. And there you go. That's how you created stress for yourself. All you did was just pick some things that you tried and true that you love and that are your yum that are yummy and that you're thankful for, and you won't stress. Or do the um, recipe ahead of time um, out one other time of the year. And don't stress while you're doing that. And then when the next time you make it, you won't stress as much. Oh, look at this. Cornbread or biscuits. Oh, I really want to sing a song that some people might know. It's called Taste the Biscuit. Taste the Biscuit with the Honey Sauce. You guys know it. You know it. <laughs> Taste the goodness of the biscuit with the honey sauce. These biscuits look to die for. Look at this. Oh my god. They're like perfection. <coughs> perfection. Cornbread cheddar biscuits. Six ounce extra sharp. Grind. Fine grind cornmeal, sugar, sage, baking powder, salt, flour, butter, corn, buttermilk, salt. Oh my god. I would leave out Where we go. Oh no, I won't. I hope you didn't hear my stomach being growled right there. Oh, look at this. Um, what do you think that looks like? Oh, it's hazelnut butter. Hazelnut butter cup tart. Oh, it could be okay. I would rather it be the peanut butter. I like those. I've never met a pie dough. I didn't screw up. What should I do? Buy it. Mm. But pie crust shouldn't be that hard. It is not hard. And you just have to have cold ingredients. And a little add of vinegar really helps for a tender crust. Triple citrus creamsicle pie. Easy fancy pear galette. Oh, that looks fancy and yummy. This. Oh, now we're talking. Cinnamon crunch crinkle pie. Oh, I'm gonna make that. What is this? Tell me. Oh, it's a piece of it. Uh, <laughs> okay, so this is salted coffee custard pie. Oh, oh, oh. you uh, look at these two. I'll take one of each. Thank you very much. Just a sliver of each and a cup of strong black coffee. Oh, uh, sweet dreams are made of that. 
salted coffee custard pie and the cinnamon crunch crinkle pie. That is a great name. Cinnamon crunch crinkle pie. Cinnamon crunch crinkle pie. Cinnamon crunch crinkle pie. Salt coffee custard pie. Salted coffee custard pie. Look at that beautiful cinnamon crunch crinkle pie. There's eggs and cornstarch and milk and orange zest and heavy cream and sugar and cinnamon and vanilla bean and ghee and sugar and cinnamon and salt and phyllo dough and paste and pouch. Yum, yum, yum. Mission pie crust. Dun, dun, dun. You never want to have a soggy bottom. The tools. Dun, dun, dun. Dun, 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 dun. Got all of those. Please, please, please use the scale. The dough recipe. Mm -hmm. Look at this. Okay. So, give it a rest. Relax. Folds for flakes. Here you go. Look at that. A little flare. Some spoon scissors. But that's perfection. Dream dinner party. Look at this. How would you call it a Looks at me. So there's that. Thanksgiving. It's around the corner. It'll be here before you know it. So decide. Stress? No stress. Stress? No stress. Epic? No stress. No stress. No stress. Okay. Tell every have a Thanksgiving and each person that comes brings one part of the meal. How about that? There's another idea. Order it all. Have somebody else make it and pick it up. And maybe make one or two things of your own. Ta-da! Another tip. Alright. So. Please, just be thankful and grateful this year for all that you do have in your life. <clears throat> and that's all you need to do. Always and every day, not just on Thanksgiving, be thankful and grateful for what you do have. Only. Okay? I'm sending you my thanks for watching my videos and subscribing to me and being my friend and commenting lovely little things and liking. Please subscribe to my channel if you like this and you want to see more. I don't just do magazine flippings. I do all kinds of stuff and I have not been making as many videos but I'm going to try to make more and yeah. Thankful and grateful for all of you the viewers and friends that join me here. And I hope whatever you do have, it's stress-free and delicious. Okay? I send you all my love and my hugs. Most my hugs for you. Alright, bye-bye.